Howdy all. Welcome to part 19. And uh, I recall saying that Defog is actually in the Safari Zone. I actually went all the way back to Heart Home City thinking I'd be able to fight Fantina straight away. That's not the case. First off, we need to get Defog. And you get hit by chatting to this person here. So you have to pay 500 fucking pokey monies. Five hundred pokey monies just to get HM defog. I do not approve. Yes, I want to exit the Great Marsh. There's nothing in there I really want to catch. The Pokemon that I want, I can catch outside of the Great Marsh if I wanted to. Anyway, once you've done that, chat to the Grunt and um, yeah. Don't you dare follow me now! <laughs> Don't you dare follow him! You will make him unhappy! <laughs> you know, the more you tell me, the more I want to follow you. Anyway, your rival comes up behind you. And... You know what, that is the worst timing in the world. Here I am, chasing a Team Galactic run, and your rival just sees fit to come and challenge you. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? Right. Um. Well, what can I say about your rival? I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. I've got to fight him. Um. Ice Fang brings down water flying types really darn quickly. Um, unless they're water fly, in which case, no, it doesn't. Okay. Um. Donald will go in for this one, I think. Because, of course, it's a Ponytar. And Ponytars are useless against my team. Take that. This is what happens when you have a well-balanced team, mate. You know, you know, he, he would generally normally be supposed to kick him, you know. He's supposed to be kicking my ass and he's not. Um... Going back over to Luigi because Ice Fang will hit Grottle pretty hard as well because Grass types are weak to Ice. I mean, I know it's not it's not quite as good as um having Grottle face uh, face Mumble because Mumble was my starter and Grottle was his, but I don't care. I just want to beat him. I've got a Grunt to catch up to, and let's face it. The grass type attacks aren't going to do anything, you know, really severe to Luigi. Oh, excuse me. Um. So now he's going to send in Boizel. Um, I think with Boizel I might go over to Mumble actually. Um, to use Grass Knot. Not that Grass Knot is going to do a whole lot to Breezel, because Breezel doesn't really weigh a lot, I don't think. Yeah, I raise my team to be tough. Not bad for someone who's only using all water types, with maybe the occasional extra type just kind of thrown in there. <laughs> but it still counts because they're all water types. And well, that takes care of your rival. Um, yes, you lost. Because of you, there's every chance I might have lost that bloody brunt. Now go and suck on Wake's cock. So, 
I didn't really lose a lot of health to that guy. In fact, I didn't lose any. So I'm just going to go straight after the grunt because, well, we should be fine. And in spite of that battle with your rival, you still catch up to him. He is literally just here. Shit, your eavesdropping. <laughs> I'm getting tired of running away, but I'm going to do it anyway. And of course he's going to be in here. Well, not in here necessarily. Um, Just continue on up. Um, You'll eventually run into him again. Here he is. <gasps> Why am I running away? But I'm going to continue doing it anyway. You know what? This this grunt... Uh, he talks to himself a lot. Hey, you know they say talking to yourself is a sign of madness, mind you, me saying that. Um, Me saying that, I'm kind of talking to myself doing this LP, so... But then again, I already know I'm mad, so... I'm allowed! <laughs> So this Galactic Grunt only has a Glammeow. Um, this thing should go down quite quickly. It's only a Glammeow. Um, just gonna standard bite attack, I suppose. That's probably gonna be the best bet. And it did quite a lot. I'm astonished at that, actually. And I... Yeah. Let's finish this thing off. It's, it's, only, a, it's only a stupid glam, yeah? <laughs> it's, in fact, I just insulted it by using Twister. That's how bloody weak <laughs> it was at that point. So you ran all that way. You battled me with your one pathetic little Glammeow. And... <laughs> you know, I could have chased after him easily. He just sort of slumps off and he disappears and he turns into Cynthia. <laughs> so the lake's not open to the public. Why, I don't know. Um, talk about um, the Pokemon that exists in the lake. And then she just suddenly changed the topic to the Psyduck, who, who's blocking um, one of the routes. And she'll give you the potion that will enable you to finally shift them along. And... She just varnishes. Um, so with that, I think that we will not be taking on Fantina for a little while yet because we've got something to do first. We're going to need to go to Celestic Town. So with that, I think I'm going to head north back up to Veilstone. And then I'm going to head, um, I believe it's east. By the way, repels run out really, really quickly. I believe I've mentioned it before. I'm probably missing out on some hidden items, but I really don't care. I just want to get on with this adventure. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's head into Veilstone. And I don't know why, but... It didn't showcase the corridor or anything. It just skipped straight ahead in the Veilstone. I don't understand it. Probably similar to what happened the last time when I was recording. Like some of it just kind of froze. Just bullshit. It never normally does this. See, there we go. Corridor. Right, so let's head through this route. Didn't want to end up in there. Get out of my way. I'm trying not to go into the grass because I don't really want to battle any wild Pokemon on. Ugh. I'm out of repels. 
I've got super repels, but I can't be bothered to use them if there's a clear straight route through that doesn't require me to, you know. Right, so now we're back on Route 210. Here's the Psyduck blocking their way north. Um, use the Secret Potion, their headache will be cured, and they'll just wander off. Bye, Psyduck, you little cuties. Oh, <laughs> look at that one. What a dumbass. And Cynthia just magically appears, like, oh, good, you used the Secret Potion. Well, if you were coming this way anyway, why didn't you give them to the bloody... Oh, now she wants me to deliver this old charm to her grandmother in Celestic Town. You're a lovely granddaughter, do you know that? Not going to visit your own grandma and just sending some stranger along to her instead. I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to teach Defog here because, well... I don't think I know my way around the route well enough to go by without it. And Mumble's unfortunately the only one that can learn it, so when I... Um, I'm going to have to um, delete it off of Mumble later on and replace it with something better. Right, I don't really want to get rid of... See, the problem is... I don't know. You kind of, I think you need defog. Some people might say you'd probably get by without it, but in my experience, you'd need defog. And, uh, yeah. There's ninja boys around here. And they have Geodude. Real ninja -y. Okay, Jelly. I had to cut some background noise out, that's why I didn't speak for that length of time. Generally, if there's a massive length of time where I don't talk, or longer than average length of time that I don't talk, it's generally because of background noise that, I'm ed that I've had to edit out. So just uh, to explain that, that's all. Okay, another Geodude? Man! This kid. I don't know about you, but Geodudes aren't that great to just have a whole team made up of Geodude and nothing else. I mean, yeah, they become really good rock, rock ground types later on when they're fully evolved, but... Okay, next up is another fucking Geodude, of course. Right, I shall water pulse you until you cry, bitch. And with that, that takes care of that Geodude wielding ninja. I really have nothing to say at this point. It's just like a bunch of random trainer battles all the way up until I reach Celestic Town. I know it's kind of dull, but I want to keep the battles in generally as much as I can. Just to showcase what you kind of go up against with regular trainers. And also it's a means of grinding, which I'm totally all for. So there's three ninjas in this long grass, so... I'm going to battle them all, I think. Thankfully, this guy's only got one, and he's got a stunky. <laughs> bum face. It's a bum face. I think I've already stated that before, though. It's got a bum face, and the noise it makes kind of sounds like it's farting, so... <laughs> 
Um, like I say, I, I believe I've mentioned it before in an earlier part, Stunky can be brought down with ground types, but at this point in the game I didn't realise it, and oh my god, I actually froze it. Okay. <laughs> Looks like you can't attack me then. So I'll just finish you off, and uh... Yeah. I love secret power. <laughs> It's different every time. You've got to appreciate that. Okay, so Luigi's up to level 34. Um, so I'm definitely not going to need Luigi up front for much longer. Just give the other got one of the other guys a chance to level up a bit. Okay, so there's two ninjas down. I believe there's one more to go. Ah, fuck. As much as I like Ponyta, I'm sorry, but I'm using water types, so no. No Pinitas. Ponytas. Whatever. Um, I need a Super Repel. That's what I'm after. I don't want to heal, I just need to repel. Okay. Let's find that third ninja. There he is. Hello. Brennan. Okay, and he's got a Zubat. Okay, so maybe it's just as well I didn't switch Luigi out from up front. Um, because Ice Fang's gonna bring this down really quick. Ice Fang, that motherfucker! And that's one down. Ugh. Oh. And Scroopy, okay. Well, at least this guy's got two different Pokemon as opposed to just three fucking Geodudes. Um, I can't remember what's... What type is... Is Scroopy a poison type? I'm pretty sure it is because Drapion's a poison dark, right? Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Oh well. It's dead anyway. Who cares? Who really gives a monkeys? <laughs> and that's all three ninjas. You'd think if you beat all three of them, you'd get something, considering they've gone around saying, Oh, we're the ninja trio, we're awesome, blah blah blah. Nope. Fuck all. Just experience. And I went looking around just to make sure there were no other trainers. There isn't. So, it's just those. So, I think there's an item. Yes. Um... There isn't anything else down this point through these trees. Unless there's a hidden item that I'm missing, but I really don't care. This is the point where Defog has to come into play. And, you know, I would have liked not to have given this mo move to um, Mumble, but at this point I didn't really have anything else I could have given it to. I refuse to catch um, a Pokemon that is not a water type. And I would like to catch Wingull to use at some point, so... I just thought, fuck it, I'll teach it to Mumble, because I know when I get to Canalave City, I will be able to get rid of Defog. I chose to get rid of uh, Brine, because I've got two other water types with water type moves, so it's not like I'm lacking in the water type move department. So, yeah, that's really my reasoning for that. And, yeah. Now I can use Defog to get rid of this fog so that I can see where the fuck I'm going. I hate Defog, it's... Ugh. It, to me it's no better than Flash. <laughs> Mind you, I suppose you kind of need it to know where you're going, but I still don't like it. It's no good in battle. Yeah bird Pokemon learn this move so if you've got a bird Pokemon then you can use it um, or even if you just grab a spare one to use this on 
because it's not that great of a moving battle if I remember rightly unless you're in foggy condition oh you'd think I would switch Luigi out from being the leader but no I just keep Luigi up front I'm just so lazy and I didn't even need that quick claw I don't think Oh well. Zubat is dead. Who cares? Boo fucking who for Zubat. Okay, he's got another Zubat. I should probably switch over to Donald because Donald can also take these things out really quickly with confusion. But uh, I didn't for whatever reason. I don't know why. I really can't remember why, I just for whatever reason I chose to stick with Luigi. I mean, I know Luigi's awesome and all, but... Man. Okay, he's got a Golbat now. Golbat's bound to be a little bit tougher, but still... This would have been, this would have been quick work for Donald. I'm hitting myself. The only other thing I can think of is if Donald's health was rather low and I didn't bother to heal him or something. And that's probably the only thing, reason I can think of why I did not switch to Donald at this point. I could have done! So two Zubats, a Golbat and one Skaroopy later. Well, just gotta get rid of the Skaroopy first. <laughs> pressure. Oh great. Just what I needed. Super accuracy. Well that's tough shit because you're dead. And with that, that's another ninja boy beaten. So much for ninjas. Um right now I am going to yeah for whatever reason it froze up there and I don't know why I didn't switch to Donald because Donald had full health after all but anyway there's a double battle with a couple of trainers coming up so figured I'd better get Luigi out of the way because otherwise Luigi's gonna hog all the experience and the rest are just gonna get left behind I think I've got to battle this trainer first and oh god ace trainers <laughs> oh right this one has a ponyta well this is gonna be easy <laughs> you made the wrong decision having a ponyta and challenging me please don't flinch jelly Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Stop stomping on me! You're like a toddler throwing your weight around. I don't know why, but I thought I'd use Rain Dance just to uh, boost water type um, strength, if you know what I mean. Um, and it's still stomping its feet. But you didn't make me flinch this time! Die! Okay. Alrighty. And uh, Grottle. Okay, so I'm gonna have to switch Jelly out for this. Jelly is not gonna stand a chance. going over to Mumble because even though Luigi would be a better option, Mumble needs the experience just a little bit more. Um, so I'm just going to pluck the fuck out of it. Because Mumble's good at that. Mumble's good at plucking the fuck out of things. Okay. Is that all you've got? Is 
So it transpires in the end I didn't really need Rain Dance to be set up because Ponytub probably would have gone down with one Water Pulse anyway, even if it wasn't charged with the Rain Dance. Okay, excellent. Nearly there, and then Mumble will be up a level, and then it'll be only two more levels, and then he'll be ready to evolve. Oh, okay, let's take on this double trainer battle, and then I can finish this part up. Hello. Hopefully, it won't be as annoying as the trainers outside Valstone City. Not that I actually included that battle in this particular playthrough because I lost it. But I don't think these guys are anywhere near as annoying. They've just got like two Pokemon, one each. Gyarados and Raichu. So it's a good thing I've got Jelly out for this so that Raichu can't fucking do anything to Jelly at the very least. Um, I don't really have anything to counteract Gyarados. An electric type move would be lovely, but I don't have them. So, uh. A water type move probably wouldn't be appropriate. It wouldn't do much. So I'm going to try and go for a confusion and hope that Gyarados gets confused. Chances of it happening are slim, but you know, it could happen. Right, but more than anything, Jelly needs to take out that Raichu very quick. Right, come on. Dig. Dig like your life depends on it. My little Jelly. Um, I think I'm going to go with the strength, just to see how that goes. I mean, confusion probably would have been the better strategy, but for all I know, strength might hit. Okay, it doesn't hit hard at all. For fuck's sake. Leave Donald alone, you stupid thing. Come on, Jelly, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, please, kill it, 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 yes! Right, we don't have to worry about stupid... Ah, paralysis. Well, at least I don't have to worry about Donald being electrocuted anymore. It's just this thing to take out now. We all survive, that's what we do. We're very good at that. I'm going to screech to bring your defences down. Um, Dig won't be any use against this thing, I can tell you that, because he's part flying type. Oh god. Hit him, Jelly. Knock him out. Oh, even with that bloody screech lowering his defence. Oh. Right. I just gotta hope that paralysis gets in the way. Oh, never mind. Donald got there first. Donald is awesome. Never doubt the power of Donald. Okay, Jelly's up another level. So I'm probably gonna head back to Salation Town real quick just to heal my team before continuing on in the next part. So I'll see you guys. Well, um, um, well, I probably will see you guys then, um, just gonna, yeah, in fact I might just super potion them and just use that, but nonetheless I will see you guys in the next part, where I will, uh, continue on reach Celestic Town and hopefully be able to head back to Heart Home City to face Fantina finally. See you guys then.